Peace, this is Sun Michaud, your Gullah teacher at Harvard University, and today I'm talking to you about how vocal inflection can change the meanings of words and distinguish one from another in the Gullah language, even when they sound virtually identical to the ear of non-native speakers. For example, can't and can can both sound like can. You can do that, yeah I can, and I tell you you can't do it, what do you want me to do? It's all in the vocal inflection, it's all in the way that you say it, it makes the difference between whether or not you're establishing a negative or a positive. There's also, depending on the region, sometimes a Y sound between the K and the A for can and can't. So what you would end up with is a can and a can. Both happens in both Gullah and Patwa and some of the other Creoles as well, but I digress. These are some good places to start in order to familiarize you with a more native sounding Gullah. Give it a try. See if you can do it. See? In the meantime, we out you.